Hello and welcome to today's Almost Daily Devotion. We're going to continue with the story of Joseph. We're in chapter 37. We're going to start with the 23rd verse. It goes like this. When Joseph reached her, his brothers, they stripped off Joseph's long robe, took him and threw him into the cistern, an empty cistern with no water in it. When they sat down to eat, they looked up and saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with camels carrying sweet resin, medical resin, and fragrant resin on their way down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, What do we gain if we kill our brother and hide his blood? Come on, let's sell him to the Ishmaelites. Let's not harm him because he's our, our brother. He's family. His brother agreed. When some Midianite traders passed by, they pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and they sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph to Egypt. Joseph took an unexpected journey. Um, there was a little bit of a journey that was expected. His dad, Israel at this point, sent him to 10 sheep. So he knew he was leaving home and going somewhere different, but he didn't realize how far he was going to go. He took an unexpected journey. And there are no winners in this scenario. Nobody in this story wins. Well, maybe the Ishmaelites. They, they were innocent bystanders, I guess, though they did agree to transport him to Egypt. So maybe there are no, are no winners. Joseph was mean and he was hateful and he was disrespectful to his brothers. And he earned every bit of the dislike that they had for him. And his brothers were jealous and angry and no longer saw Joseph as one of their families. Well, sort of but I think that was an excuse. And Reuben was a coward. Reuben was afraid to stand up to the other 11, 10 brothers. Well, nine, Benjamin wasn't around. Who threw him into the well and sold him. He left, he left in a fit of plausible deniability. And there are no winners. There are no winners in this situation. It set up years of hatred and dislike. And even though Joseph himself would forgive his brothers, Israel and Judah never really got along. The families of Israel and Judah never really got along. The kingdoms of Israel and Judah never really got along. And they still, to this day, do not get along. They took the easy way out. They took an easier path than trying to figure out how to coexist with one another and how to love one another when it was hard and challenging and required a little bit of humility. And I think there are ways Joseph could have learned his lesson maybe that weren't so harsh. Or maybe this was the only way. This was the only way Joseph was going to thrive, was to take this journey and to go somewhere new. Joseph never really finds a place to lay his head that's comfortable again. He's always at the beck and call of someone else. He's always at the mercy of someone else. And he spends a lot of years in prison. But he could not have ever become the hero of the Bible that he became if he'd stayed where he was. If everyone had been stayed locked into the pattern of life that they had. His brothers would have continued to be angry and jealous and probably would have eventually killed him. And Joseph would have never learned his lesson. And he was kind of a jerk. And so sometimes it requires a journey. Sometimes it takes a mountain or a stream or a path down an unexpected place for us to grow. Too often we pick the easy solution of continuing locked into a pattern that's no longer life-giving. It's no longer bringing joy or peace or kindness. We stay locked into patterns which only bring out the worst in each of us. Sometimes the journey is the most important part. So where are we locked in and stuck? How do we need to find a new home?